<clears throat> What's up everybody and welcome to my Monday Night Raw review um, We've been a little bit late on the reviews lately But we will do a double joint review of TNA soon Since we have not gotten from last week's episode That'll just be a double joint review But um, pretty much final Raw before Fastlane and Mood This wasn't really a good one As we kicked it off with pretty much Dean Ambrose Talking about this Sunday That for the triple threat for the um, number one contender so for the world title, he wants he's coming after Brock Lesnar. They so tried the F5 me, so I've had visions of it, but you know, tonight in the state of California, he came to get himself a piece. Stephanie McMahon came out and said, You're lucky Roman came out to help you because Lesnar could have destroyed you last week. And you know, because you know, you gotta be ready to face Triple H if you want to be the main event of WrestleMania this year. And so he was gonna cool down, but. You know, we need to answer. Uh, he, he was looking for a fight, he says, and he, and she asked him about the F5 and how he felt. And you know, you know what? How about this? You know, it's gonna be a fatal five way for the Intercontinental Championship. Good luck, pretty much. You know, if Roman Reigns in this interferes in this match, also he, he would get disqualified then. So a fatal five way match for the Intercontinental Championship: Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens versus Tyler Breeze versus Stardust. Versus Dolph Ziggler for the Intercontinental Championship, and this was pretty much a great match to even kick off the show. Pretty much Kevin Owens winning, hitting the pop-up powerbomb on Tyler Breeze, becoming Intercontinental Champion again, which he never really lost to them. He did lose, but didn't really lose it that long. Pretty much won it right back, and I understand why they probably did this now. Could have given Dean Ambrose a bigger chance of winning the number one contenders off of the world title at WrestleMania. We'll see, but. He pretty much took the title from Kevin Owens tonight. Kevin pretty much took the belt from Kevin Owens. I mean, Kevin Owens pretty much took the belt from him tonight. So, Owens won the match then. So, we could see what happens now. Because I thought, you know, I would have thought Reigns would have won. But it doesn't give Dean Ambrose more of a chance. Some say because they didn't have the Intercontinental title going to be defended on Sunday. So, they have to drop the belt to somebody. So, they dropped it to Owens. And pretty much he had an interview in the back tonight. He's like, I'm feeling inspired, motivated. And, you know, he talked about Triple H. He's like, you know, I'm excited now facing Triple H. I mean, I lost the Intercontinental Championship, but he's going now for the World Heavyweight Championship now. For the WWE title. But, pretty much Owens was in the back then talking about he became champion. Ziggler says, oh, you won on a job done, but you, you, you know, now you need a challenger, he says. And, you know, he's like, you know what, it really will be a challenge, he says. So now pretty much they've already said it is now Kevin Owens versus Dolph Ziggler, even though his feud was never really going anywhere to begin with why Owens kept losing to Ziggler, who has no momentum. Let's just put the belt on Owens so we can have a title match this Sunday with him and Ziggler. New Day came out as the New Day will be on Edge and Christians, the cutting peep show, the cutting edge peep show this Sunday. Since their titles won't be on the line, they'll be there this Sunday. And as they talk the Big E talk about it is Rudy it, the Coldplay performance was booty, but they had to stop him because, you know, he didn't want to get sued or something like that. I'm not about to get in trouble. Mark Henry then went against Big E with a very strange finish. Big E went for a big ending. Duke Strong has ever picked up Mark Henry. But they had to let him down because he may have hurt his ribs for real. And he literally collapsed to the ground and Big E just pinned him and it was over. Very odd finish. Byron Saxon talked to Bree Bella about Daniel Bryan, you know, how... That's gonna go as the fans chanted, yes, you know, she was gonna win that the fans love Brian all over the world, you know, turning a negative into a positive. But Charlotte and Ric Flair came out then. So, but you're just doing this for Brian, he's in a league of his own, and you need to keep wrestling to keep paying the bills and stuff anyway, since he can't do it anymore. And that, you know, if you didn't be understandable, she forfeited the match at Fast Lane. But she says, you know, you guys need the money, and I'm gonna talk about Brian. I wish them well, but you guys just need the money. And that she took out her sister, but pretty much Rebella got pissed and started doing yes chance. What well, I mean, she started doing the kicks as the fans did. I guess I think there were no chance because, <laughs> listen, let me let me just say this about this match. Who who really cares how this feud is really gonna go, Rebella or Charlotte? Rebella's probably on her way out of the company anyway, so who really cares? And and she would never want the match to begin with. I think they're going to give him the title anyway because of all that sympathy thing from Daniel Bryan's retirement and Nikki Bella's injury. It's like, what what sec, what point would that really make? I don't even understand either. Like, how that, how that would really go. 
with this whole Charlotte Free Bella feud. I don't know why Sasha Banks isn't going for the title anymore, but we already know why. Right there in WrestleMania. Let's just kick Free Bella out of the way and just get over with it. Um. So the women was whatever. Jericho came out on commentary as AJ Styles went against The Miz. Which they really had a lengthy match. I'll give it that. I'm surprised it was a bit of a lengthy match out there between both of those guys. And pretty much AJ Styles won the, mat, the match with the calf killer. Uh, Styles won. And then when Jericho tried to get in the ring and talk. And he said, Styles doesn't know what you're doing. It's eating up you inside that you can't beat me. He says, I know your mind games, Jericho. And pretty much... One on one fast lane and pretty much the fans channel Y2J. He says, Little Free, the phenomenal one versus Y2J. One more time. But Jericho says, I don't know if I want to wrestle you again. I'll give you an answer on SmackDown, he says. He says, I'll see you there, buddy. And they said Jericho pretty much had a veteran move right there for doing that to wait till Thursday on SmackDown and see what will happen with AJ Styles and Chris Jericho. Which, I'm so, I, somehow Miz, I think, is going to be involved in this. It's going to be a triple threat for some reason, because he's been involved in his master out the whole time. But the Dudleys headed to the ring, which people really cheered last week anyway for taking out the Usos. said, where are the Usos? Oh, they're not here. And pretty much, we're not going to be defined for our legacy for furniture and tables. We're the 23 tag team time. 23 time tag team championships. This isn't a nostalgia act. Not a goal weight tour or anything. We're here. We're back. If you want to see us put through tables, go to the WWE Network. But we're here to take, we're here to, they're, 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 it's not going to be one that we want the tables. And it's going to fall on deaf ears because they want the tag team championships. And pretty much just those old my brother testify. Which Bubba Ray or Bully Ray, which he looked like he was talking like Bully Ray tonight. Looked like, I don't, they, the plan I heard was to break them up and they would have brought Bully Ray back. Which, that would have been cool in a way, but it only worked in TNA. And they're not going to let him become the world champion, sh champion over here. And give him his own motorcycle game. Again, but I don't know. Bully Ray, Bubba Ray, whatever you want to call them, it's whatever. So we'll go with that. Paige joined against Summer Ray, which both have not been on TV and I don't know how long, and Paige just won the match with some type of roll up. So it doesn't really, not really interesting. I don't know why. I'm surprised both of them are still there. I didn't even know Summer Ray was still there. Uh. Paul Hammond came to the ring. Talk about uh, Roman Reigns, he liked to call out. Because who, who, like the beast will emerge, he says, and he will beat Triple H for the title at WrestleMania. But he brought out Roman Reigns, talking about the respect he had for him. And talked about how Reigns, you know, you need to be careful. He has utmost respect. But Sunday, you got to win. You want to do it again. You want the title. You know, do it, go home. He says, your dream and with the title and pretty much, you know, go out to your wife and your daughter, but you need to be careful, he said. Pretty much, you're going to choose your friendship over your own family, and that's how you live in getting divorce court. And he says, you sit between your daughter and your best friend. Who do you choose, huh? Which do you really choose over? Because this is all about the title to be at the center of WrestleMania, he says. And you have to go through a beast this Sunday in your friend, Dean Ambrose. As Roman Reigns turns, says, you're good. He says, you're good. And I know what you're trying to do, but you're not trying to break us up or anything like that. And Reigns says, he had a choice a long time ago, and Dean Ambrose has to deal with his own problems, he says. But Reigns, <clears throat> Reigns says he's never beaten Lesnar, but he's going to beat him this Sunday. But he says, I didn't beat him, but I have beaten him. Beaten his ass, he says. And he's going to do it again this Sunday. And he says he's going to leave it all on the line this Sunday, he says. And he says he's going to win it fast lane, and he's going to beat Triple H for the title at WrestleMania. And Reigns pretty much shook Heyman's hand. He says, I guess I wish you good luck and whatever. As soon as Paul Heyman left, the Dudley's attack, Team 3D, he says, do you know who we are, Roman? They pretty much started beating the crap out of him. And then Dean Ambrose came out for the save, taking out both the Dudley's. And pretty much after that, he was about to hit a dirty D's on, but pretty much um, Rain said, you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to be quicker than that, he says, if you want to make it to WrestleMania, pretty much. And they're going to have this Vincent J. McMahon next week. Somebody's going to get in this recipient award that's supposed to be so prestigious that they're going to give it out next week A Legacy of Excellence. And it's just prestigious award that he's never really ever presented till now. I don't know where Paul Heyman has been this whole time throughout this feud. He should have been talking to begin with, but they 
somehow just doing this throughout the Go Home show. Heath Slater went against Zack Ryder. My God, I don't even know how these guys are still here. Heath Slater won, but I keep wondering, are the social outcasts heel or face? We don't know. Are they heels or are they face? Another horrible R-Truth and, you know, Goldust thing, or I'd like to say, which is, I know I'm going to be wrong saying this, since they have to make another Booker T and Goldust team for some reason, and... I don't know, at a dinner table, and I guess Truth is on a date with this woman, which he's already married anyways, but, you know, talking about this isn't table for three or in your house, and pretty much go to spray some champagne on the girl and walk away. I don't know, none of these old us and true segments have really been funny. They did a good Booker T tribute for Black History Month, so that was great. A Kevin Owens Geico commercial. The Dragons and Neville went against the Job Squad themselves. Sheamus returning, I should say, tonight. And Del Rio and Rusev, which they all won, pretty much beating Sin Cara, pinning him. Del Rio doing that stomp from across the top rope to the, um, I guess, middle of the ring with the ro on the ropes. But Sin Cara looked like an idiot for holding it. I don't know. And, you know, surprisingly, they don't even get the main show. Sin Cara, I mean, Kalisto and Del Rio have to fight for the title on the kickoff show. They don't even get the main pay-per-view. They have to wait to the kickoff show. Makes no sense. No sense. Um, I guess tonight is Naomi versus um, Becky Lynch since they kicked her in the back. Tamina, uh, M Michelle Beadle, that retard was there tonight. Holy crap! How stupid was she about over a year ago? Pretty much. Oh, oh yeah, you want to come back to WWE? Say, oh, I'm gonna turn in my WWE fan card. I'm not a fan anymore because Triple H, you know, supported Floyd Mayweather, or she called him a serial abuser. And Floyd Mayweather's final fight. And Baron says, I'm not a fan. You, you, I don't think Michelle Lee was ever really a wrestling fan. I think it's stupid how she left. Or at least even how she left. So people are questioning her for her ESPN and everything. If she's even that great of a commentator. And, and then, you know, AJ has gotten mad at Michelle B. Before you remember, tribute to the troops. Remember they said she was there. She just wanted to do CM Punk. She just wanted to fuck CM Punk. That's all she was there for. She tried to get to him. AJ got pissed. AJ pretty much got pissed in and pretty much, um, you know, left and stuff. So I, I, I don't know why. I, anyway, I, I just don't get it, get it in. And Michelle Beadle, I don't think was ever a wrestling fan. I just thought after WrestleMania when she came up with that stupid statement saying I'm turning in the um, my WWE fan card. <laughs> oh my god, it, 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 it's so stupid, like. I don't know. I'm surprised she even was out there tonight and they put a camera on her. She, she's just not a real wrestling fan. I don't care what anybody has to say. After that statement, she said, I'm not going to do it because Triple H supports Floyd Mayweather. How retarded. I can see you didn't want to be a fan because of the product, or cause, but because somebody supports someone. Oh, I want to leave now. Idiot, out of here. You're only in this, this whole WWE thing. You wanted to do CM Punk that bad, and AJ caught you on it. And now you're just an idiot that, like I said, just wanted to come back just because. Probably looking for a check. So, M M Michelle Beadle is really no wrestling fan. Uh, Naomi went against Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch wanted to disarm her. Sasha Banks pretty much came out. They started beating up Becky Lynch, but she pretty much got in the ring again. I guess, you know, former NXT tag team, you know, they're going to be going against uh, her, Naomi, and Tamina this Sunday, so... Watch out for that. The main event of the show. Holy crap. Braun Strowman versus Big Show. How bad they can that get into surprising Big Show as I rushed to Austin's podcast right after that match. The Wyatts pretty much wanted to talk. Talking about, you know, we took out the Giants. That slumber can only beg from Rush. They said, why you lying, man? This is the apocalypse we were talking about. Wake up and run. Why are you people lying? You let these people lie to you. Big Show went against Strowman in, which this match really never went in, really anywhere. Pretty much the, um, the Wyatts got in, they started beating up Big Show, Ryback came out, Kane pretty much entered from the ring, and, like, is anybody really going to get excited about any of these any of these guys fighting the Wyatts? Like, even the Wyatts getting excited about this match, like, who's really going to get excited about this? I don't really care. Goldberg 3.5 right there can just go. He sucks as it is already. 
Um, it just makes no sense. I don't see where this match is going to go. Some people wonder why the whole hour and a half was just horrible. Especially the third hour was just bored to the crack fest. Some people say because it wasn't the Grammys or anything. Like, it, it, it just didn't go nowhere. Like, this, the, the last part of the show was just bad. I thought the IC title match was cool. But I also remember it's one of the best things on there. Maybe the Reigns and, and Paul Heyman promo. But everything else pretty much was the crap stand. But I'm going to go. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace. I will get more reviews in. We'll just have to get this raw review going. Peace.